now that we have our z-score, we can go to the z-table and find the answer to the question. I actually haven't shown you what a z-table looks like yet, but I created a little mini z-table on the slide. When you go to the z-table, you have to break up the z-score that you calculated into two separate parts. The, the negative 3.0 tells you what row to use, and then this last digit right here um, tells you what column to use. And then you just look at where the, the row and column meet up with each other, and then you get your answer. So this number right here is, actually, is the probability of us getting a sample mean below 57. We finished the question. Now this question um, is actually an extension of the last question. It just says, um, what percentage of the possible samples of nine people that we could select would have a sample mean below 57? To answer that question, all we have to do is just take the probability that we found in the last question and multiply it by 100. When you multiply by 100, you change your probability to a percentage. So what we've just found out is that when we randomly select that sample of nine people from the population, 0.13% of the possible samples would give us a sample mean way down here below 57. And since 0.13% since of the possible samples are in this area, we have a 0 0.0013 probability of getting a sample mean in this area down here below 57. Um, and you can see the shape of the, the normal curve outlining the sampling distribution. When you go to the Z table, you're actually using the shape of the normal distribution curve to get the probability. So this probability that we found here actually um, came from, or it's actually based on the shape of the normal distribution. Now let's answer this question right here. What's the probability of getting a sample mean above 61 inches? This question is asking, what's the probability that the sample of nine people will end up having a sample mean above 61? Since this is an above question, it has three steps. First, we have to calculate the z-score of the sample following these, using this formula right here. We just subtract the sample mean of 61 by the population mean, and we put the population standard deviation and the sample size on the bottom. The, the sample mean came from this question up here, because the question is asking about 61 inches. The other three numbers all came from the question at the beginning. I told you that the population mean is 60 inches. The population standard deviation is 3 and that we're taking a sample of nine people. And if we go through all of these steps right here, we get the z-score of the sample. We have to subtract 61 by 60 on top, and we get 1. We find the square root of 9, and it comes out to 3. We divide 3 by 3 on the bottom, and it equals 1. And then 1 divided by 1 equals 1. Now that we have our z-score of 1, we can go to step 2 which is to look up the decimal in the z-table. And once again, we have to break up the z-score into two separate parts. The 1.0, this first part, tells us what row to use, and this final digit at the end tells us what column to use. Since this third digit right here is 0, um, we use this column right here. And then we get this decimal from the z-table where the row and column meet up. Now that we finished step two, we move on to step three, because remember, if the question says above, you're, you have to go on to step three, which is subtract the decimal in the z-table from one. So in step three, we subtract one by the decimal we got from the z-table, and then we get our answer. So the probability that the sample of nine people 
we'll end up having a sample mean above 61, this point 1587. And if we want to change the probability to a percentage, we just multiply it by 100. So we, if we multiply our answer by 100, we get this percentage. And what that tells us is that um, when we randomly select that sample of nine people from the population, 15.87% of the possible samples of nine people would have a sample mean above 61 up here. So that means that the probability of our sample mean coming from this area is 0.1587. The probability and the percentage go along with each other. And one last point I wanted to make is that the, the z-table gave us this decimal of 0.8413. That's actually the probability of the sample mean ending up below 61 in this area. The decimal that comes from the z-table always tells you the probability of getting a sample mean below a certain number. If you want to change it to the probability above the number, you have to subtract 1 by the decimal. So, like I said, the, the z-table told us that the, that the probability of getting a sample mean below 61 is 0.8413, and we subtracted 1 by that decimal to get 0.1587, and then we discovered that the probability of getting a sample mean above 61 in this area is 